Bible question of the day. Does the Antichrist die and come back to life? Or is the scripture about Satan's bound with a chain, planned kingdom to attack the gospel on a national level? That's the question. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to 1 John 2 verse 18. First, we need to understand who or what the Antichrist represents. So we see it here. It says, little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that is that it is the last time. So not only is there Antichrist, he said, even now, even at that time, there are many Antichrists, more than one. So let's look at what it represents and what it means to be anti or Antichrist. So let's look at Antichrist G500 in the in the Greek, the lexicon Strong's Concordance here, and we see the adversary of the Messiah. So the adversary of Christ is Antichrist. They're going against him. And there's not just one, there's many. So we're going to go here. We see the where it says an opponent of the Messiah. So we're going to go back to 1 John 2.18, and now we're going to look at the cross-reference. So let's look at the cross-reference to where it states antichrist shall come even now are there many antichrists so let's go down there and look at those scriptures here and let's go read these three here first john 2 22 says who is a liar but he that denieth that jesus is the christ he is anti he is antichrist that denieth the father and the son so we see who represents the antichrist is someone who is a liar Who's going to deny that Jesus is the Christ? He is the Antichrist that denied the Father and the Son. That's why they say there's many Antichrists, not just one. Now let's look at 1 John 4 3. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. Wherefore ye have heard that it should come. And even now, already, it is in the world. So you heard it, it shall come, and it's already in the world. That's why you see there's many Antichrists, because of the spirit of Antichrist, that it's already in the world. Now we're looking at 2 John 1, 7. It says, For many deceivers are entered into the world, who confesses not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and antichrist anyone who denies that jesus is coming at not that confess not that jesus has come in the flesh this is deceiver and antichrist this person is a deceiver so that means this person is a liar now what we're going to do is we're going to look at that second part where it says is satan is bound for a thousand years which is something totally different so we see that a deceiver a deceiver is someone who is without the truth. So that person is already dead in their trespasses and sins. So can they come back alive again? If they stay in their sins, they will die a second time. If they repent, then they can come back alive in Christ. That's the separation. That's the difference. Now, the other part is speaking of Satan's bound, which is totally opposite from the Antichrist coming back to life or not, or is alive or not. So we're going to go to Revelation 20, verse 2. In Revelation 20, verse 2, it says, and he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. So we see this is where he's bound for a reason. So we're going to go look at the reason here. Second, I'm sorry, uh, Revelation 20, verse 3. And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and seal and put and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more. You see the deceiver here? There's many antichrists. Who are they? Deceivers. How? Because they've been deceived by Satan. They're already dead in their trespasses and sins. So they cannot, they're not coming alive. 
They can only die twice if they stay in their trespasses and sins. So this section here is talking about the deceiver that's going to be bound for this thousand years for a reason. So that he can't deceive. See that where it says, and cast him in the bottomless pit and shut him up to and set his seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more until this thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. So now we see the Antichrist is not this, that, that question where you're saying the Antichrist uh, dies and come back to life. That is not true. And so now that we understand who the Antichrist represents and who is the deceiver, now we understand this is totally separate. That when Satan is bound, he can deceive people no more. And they have a choice to stay in a lie or to be in the truth.